everyone, Tim Schofield here from cubicking77.com doing a video showing off Android 4.4.2 KitKat on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Going over changes within this uh, operating system update. This is the Sprint variant. It should be coming to other variants soon. I believe the Sprint variant is the first U.S. carrier version to get it in the U.S. So hopefully Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, I'll update it very soon. Anyways, changes I want to go over. First of all, the lock screen. Um, I believe this camera button did get added. If you have shortcuts down here, you're not going to have this camera button. You'll still have the option to swipe over to the right and get to your camera and also add widgets as well. So you have all of those options that were available on uh, Jelly Bean as well. So there's that with the lock screen. Also, one more thing to note with the lock screen is that the response time when unlocking the phone is a lot quicker. So if I go to unlock it, you'll see it directly goes to your home screen. Um, it's just improved on the response time and it just seems to uh, bring us to the home screen faster as soon as you actually unlock the device, which is a nice improvement, actually. It, uh, it's, really, it's really noticeable. It's surprising. You, might, you may not think it's a lot, but it actually is noticeable. Anyways, there are some color changes up here. You'll see. Uh, look up at the notification bar and you have a white, black and white up at the top, which is essentially what uh, Google has gone with with KitKat is just a very minimalistic black and white settings. You still have color icons here. Also, you'll notice some, some very minor changes within the notification bar. You'll notice the font has changed. It looks a lot cleaner. It's very nice. So overall, they did a good job with making it look a little bit cleaner. Um, but I mean, really the only theme change was that are these icons really up at the top? It's essentially just about the only thing that has changed. Now I also want to go and run through some changes within the settings applications. First of all, location settings. You'll see inside it kind of lets you know which ones are requesting location, which services are on. Um, also, there's a mode here. You'll see power saving, GPS only, and high accuracy. My GPS is not on. Once I turn that on, it should actually switch to high accuracy. You'll see. So if I turn that off, it'll switch back to power saving mode. So uh, you kind of have your own option there within KitKat to change your location settings, which is, a, which is new, of course. Also within the settings, there's a default application option where you can change the default applications. Right now it's only home and message, but if you add more, more will get added. Right now I'm using Apex Launcher. You can have the option to run the KitKat Launcher, the, or the I believe the Google Now Launcher is what it's called now, and I will link to how you can get that in the description. If you'd like to use that on your device, you can. It's used on the Nexus 5, other Nexus devices as well. Um, or you can just switch it back to TouchWiz Home, so if I want to switch back to that, and go back to the home screen, you'll see it switches right back to my TouchWiz launcher. Um, it doesn't, and it sets it by default too, just a heads up there. So that sets it by default. So if I want to go back to Apex Launcher, then I have the option to by going within those default settings. So for now, we'll just leave it on the TouchWiz launcher. Also, one last thing within the settings is that under developer options, there is no Android runtime art. Uh, that does not come as an option, so just a heads up there for those of you that did want to know that. Anyways, I want to say multitasking probably feels a little bit quicker. Uh, if I want to hop into an app like Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just at QBKing77. Or if you wanted to go to another application like the messaging application, you can pop that up. Um, it just feels a little bit quicker, nothing too crazy. But uh, overall, I'd say the system feels in general over um, a little bit quicker. Honestly, in my honest opinion, after using it for about two days now, it feels just a little bit quicker, nothing too major. Anyways, I want to go ahead and show you guys something within the... Uh, with KitKat brings emoji support. So with this, I have the Samsung keyboard right now. You can go into the, they have added a lot of emojis actually. So you'll see a bunch of smileys. You can go to pets. If you want to put a cute little turtle there within your message, you can. You can also add food, buildings, whatever you want with all these emojis. So you have a bunch of different options. Of course, there are a bunch of keyboard options in the Play Store which allow for emojis as well. So feel free to play around and use whatever keyboard you want. But just know that KitKat does bring a lot of emoji support to your device. Also want to note real quick, there is a wireless printing option. Just go into more networks and you'll see printing. So you have that option. You can go ahead and attempt to wireless print from your Android device. And finally, one last addition to the lock screen is actually full screen music album art. So if I want to go ahead and play a song here, I'm playing Pandora. You can use in the default music application. 
also in the play music application, but it's playing music right now. So if I wanted to go ahead and go into my lock screen, I believe it should load them up. So there you go. So now I got some dead mouse playing right here. This is all from Pandora. So you'll see it works with Pandora. It also works with play music. It works with the default music application. I believe other ones as well. So just kind of keep that in mind, but it's great. I actually really like it. It's very sleek. I like the look of it if you have album art with your specific music. But other than that, that's about everything I did want to show. Um, those are just about all the changes I can think of. If you can think of any other ones, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, as I said, Instagram as well. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.